Hi everyone, how are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for all signs of the zodiac. We are going to get right into the psychic astro reading for the time frame commencing on the 10th of February. Again, guys, please remember I will do the tarot reading as well, but that will be at uh, probably tomorrow. I won't be putting it up tonight. I've got a really busy night tonight. Um, Got to go out tonight. So anyway, I wanted to get the psychic astro up uh, before I leave. And uh, remember, for all of my members on my website, you definitely can access the extended reading for the psychic astro by Monday. So also, everybody, really consider get, getting a membership to my website. There's a lot of really, really good information on there. A lot of my members could easily let you know uh, how accurate my uh, information is and how helpful it is as they move forward with these particular energies that they're dealing with throughout the weeks and the months and the days to come. All right, so we're going to get right into it for the week commencing on the 10th of February. All right, phrase for the week, ladies and gentlemen, is it's all about me. Thank you very much. This week is so I want the world, I want the whole world. This is the song that Veruca, Sa uh, Veruca Salt sings uh, in Willy Wonka. So basically she says, she says, I want the world, I want the whole world. I want to lock it all up in my pocket. It's my bar of chocolate. I don't care how, I want it now. So here we go. On February 10th of 2020, Venus conjuncts Chiron and Black Moon Lilith in Aries at two to three degrees. Now, this is why we're getting this. I want it now. I want it now. It's, it's mine. It's my world. We have Venus entering Aries. And this is an absolute pioneering go-getter attitude with that Venus. Plus, she is conjuncting Black Moon Lilith at two to three degrees. Now, I did make mention of this in the Leo Full Moon video, but... This is a little different way to look at it. It's similar, but it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and offer this to you now. So Venus in Aries is the love of identity and it is melding energies with the planetoid of old wounds and healing, as well as the BITCH herself, Black Moon Lilith. This is exactly why I said whatever ending coming up would be hard to get through. Black Moon Lilith will chop your head off just as quickly as she will woo you into believing something that is not real in order to gain control. Black Moon Lilith conjuncting Venus and Chiron will absolutely trigger many people regarding love, a third party, interference, or an ex that will not go away for whatever reason. Your identity within love relationships wounds you did not think would ever surface again, and this is regarding both love and money. I would find out what house contains Black Moon Lilith in your natal chart. If you, uh, you have planets or any um, um, heavenly bodies between 28 degrees of Pisces and 6 degrees of Aries, um, you will definitely be affected here. So you will be triggered in some way, shape, or form. If there are no planets or heavenly bodies here, the house where BML is will be affected and she will take no prisoners. So when I see this type of energy, ladies and gentlemen, I am definitely feeling um, the energy of someone who has lost control in some way, shape, or form, or someone who had taken something for granted, and now they're trying to figure out a way to finagle their way back into a situation, trying to woo people into a situation, or going through a passive-aggressive type of energy exchange with other people. This is definitely coming up here, so please be aware of that. So on February 13th, we do have Venus in Aries squaring the North Node in Cancer at seven degrees. So there seems to be a conflict of interest on or around this day relative to love as an identity in a relationship versus needs of family or children. For some, a choice needs to be made between the two or they will have to be integrated somehow. I am sensing at this time with Black Moon Lilith still in the picture and within Orb, some people, women or men, will not even mention Valentine's Day for one reason or the other. This may, be, this may also have something to do with pioneering something new regarding a new business partnership as well as the family possibly being affected by this. I am not saying that Valentine's Day will be a bust 
as many people will be really clear on what someone means to them, especially as it relates to a tension in the family that needs to be addressed. So this particular energy that we're coming up with here is that selfish energy, that Venus in Aries squaring that North Node in Cancer. It's, it's the identity of love or the love of identity, which is squaring up with the family unit, with children, with romance, with creativity. And it's all about partnerships. It's at seven degrees and seven degrees is a partnership degree. It is a romantic partnership. It's a business partnership. It's fairness. So these are the types of energies you need to watch out for. Okay. So guys, I know that this was short. We only have two significant, um, you know, alignments here coming up in this upcoming week. And I would, I would say this, just be extremely careful and be on your guard relative to someone who may want to come back into your life and reestablish something with you. But then what will happen is it will cause an undulation in the current relationship that you're in. So what's happening here is that you don't want interlopers to come in and start causing problems in your life. It is really in your best interest to say, you know what? I appreciate everything that we had together. I appreciate our partnership in business or in romance. I appreciate it, but I have moved on. Please move on. You cannot control other people. Black Moon Lilith is there to cause issues. She's there to say, I am the warrior queen. You will listen to me. I am the one that, that calls the shots. And, you know, for some of you out there, you might be in a relationship right now where your significant other, if, if you are the feminine energy, the masculine energy is going to want you to call the shots, you to set everything up, you to take control of the situation, you to find the solution, okay? Doesn't mean it's always going to be like that. It's just like that right now because when you've got Black Moon Lilith conjuncting the planet of love and money, there is some sort of manipulation, coercion, um, you know, conceitedness that kind of comes out in order to gain control. So if you feel like you are in a situation where someone is, it's like you just feel off, right? You feel like someone is trying to kind of, you know, just get their way, like wiggle their way back into your life or wiggle their way into, you know, your environment. Okay, be careful of that because they may not have the best of intentions. Use your intuition. If you feel like something is wrong, then something is wrong. Do you need to address it right away? If you feel like you need to address it right away, then by all means, go for it. But if you feel that it could maybe wait until the alignments are a little bit better, a little bit more supportive, then please wait. Right now, everybody, everybody is um, a little bit high strung. They're a little bit high energy, okay? They're wanting to start that new beginning, but they need to kind of slow down to go faster. And I hope that that's making sense for all of you out there. Okay, guys, I thank you so much. It was short. I understand that. Of course, the members, yours will be much longer. Of course, I'm going to pull your tarot cards as well for each of the specific elements. So I just want to make you guys aware of that. Please consider getting a membership to my website. I think you'll really, really like it. You can cancel anytime you like. I really do wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.